Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back. This is Marvel Strike Force breaking news. So by now, you guys have all heard the news. There's a whole new tag into the game. The Supernaturals are here. So I'm going to break down the brand new hero, Ghost Rider, for you guys. Also, I'm going to break down Elsa Bloodstorm as well. And we're going to also take a look at the three reworks of the current Supernatural heroes that already exist in the game. So we got a, a team of five Supernatural heroes that actually work really well together, guys. I'm sure you guys are going to love using this team. It's exciting. I can't wait for it. I'm always super excited and pumped for new teams to be developed into the game. So so without any further ado, let's just get right to this video. Let's take a look at all their abilities now and we'll see how this team is going to fare out in the game. Okay, so we're going to kick off the Supernatural team breakdown with the guy that's making it all happen here. Johnny Blaze, aka Ghost Rider. Let's start off with his basic ability here. Attack primary target for 250% damage plus apply bleed for two turns at level seven here as you can see so it's a very awesome ability guys 250 percent damage is quite a bit and then two turn bleed i love that for him right there especially since bleed is so potent in the game guys so anybody that can apply bleed even on their basic is quite awesome so first ability off i'm loving what i'm seeing there let's go ahead into his special ability here all right so his special ability hell cycle attack primary target for 290 percent damage apply two bleeds for two turns attack all adjacent targets for 270 percent damage plus apply two bleeds this is phenomenal and this attack cannot be blocked and cannot miss so i love this ability here uh six turn cooldown it starts off full which is totally fine because you can start off the battle directly with this ability here 290 percent is a lot apply two bleeds for two turns and then attack the adjacent targets and then apply two bleeds to them as well so as you can see guys you'll see with the supernatural team it's all about applying some debuffs and then extending those debuffs as much as possible so it's incredible i'm loving what i'm seeing so far from ghost rider okay moving on to his ultimate penance stare this is the ability that's got everybody in the community scared guys especially Sir Rebro, he is petrified with this move. Attack primary target for 500 piercing. Wow, that's incredible. Apply offense down and defense down. What a phenomenal ability here. If charged, this attack gains 200% drain and lose one charge. 200% drain is phenomenal. He's going to be healing himself right back up. This is so great, guys. And then 500% piercing and then applying those two offense down and defense down is phenomenal now the only thing is this ability is a four turn cooldown it starts off at two which means you won't be able to use it until your second turn so it's totally fine you will start off the battle right with a special and then go right into his ultimate so it works really well together i love this ability here not only is going to do a ton of damage to any single target but also it's going to pretty much nullify him for another turn it's going to apply offense down if they attack they won't really do much and then defense down they're probably going to die in their next turn anyway so this is phenomenal penance there you rock all right his passive ability spirit of vengeance on death grant two ability energy to all supernatural allies this is phenomenal if he dies he's going to further help his uh, allies here this is incredible and that's just the beginning on non-summoned allies death attack the enemy that killed that target for 500 percent damage and gain one charge up to a maximum of five generate three ability energy for self oh my god 500 damage is a lot right off the bat there guys so if any of his allies dies this guy is going to make your opponents pay for killing them and then he's going to gain a charge, which is going to help with his penance stare. And then on top of that, he's going to generate three ability energy to himself. Woo! That is phenomenal. But it doesn't even stop there as well. Check this out. When a negative effect is applied to an enemy, change speed bar of self and all supernatural allies by 3%. Now, 3% is not a lot, but it helps, guys, especially with this team, because they're going to be applying a ton of debuffs. It is insane. So that 3% is going to add up fairly quickly here. But wait, there's more. Gain 40% max health. Supernatural allies gain 40% max health. Gain 30% focus. Supernatural allies also gain 30% focus. That 30% focus is incredible, guys. Like I said, especially with this team here, you got Mordo, Scarlet Witch, Doctor Strange, Ghost Rider, Elsa, they're all going to need that focus. This is phenomenal. I love what I'm seeing from Ghost Rider, guys. Two thumbs up to the devs for creating him. 
He is incredible. He's pretty much exactly what everybody could have asked for. I think they nailed it with Ghost Rider here, just applying debuffs and then destroying anybody that's going to hurt the people that he loves, the Supernaturals. So, thumbs up for Ghost Rider, guys. Let's move on to Elsa Bloodstone. All right, guys. So, Elsa, one of the out of the blue characters that they put out in this patch here so let's go ahead and break it down her abilities here starting off with her basic attack primary target for 45 percent piercing bonus attack five times for 45 percent piercing five times whoa that is phenomenal there so now 45 percent piercing is not a lot guys but if you're gonna bonus attack five extra times with 45 percent that is incredible and that adds up to a whopping hey siri what's five times 45 That's a whopping 225 piercing, guys. This is incredible. So uh, we'll see how much damage this actually does, depending on her damage. But it's intriguing. I'm really, really intrigued by five bonus attacks here. So let's go ahead into our uh, special ability here. Trick shot attack primary target for 300% damage. Attack the most injured enemy for 350% damage, ignoring taunt and stealth. All right, so this ability here is a little bit copy-paste, in my opinion here, uh, reminiscent of uh, Deadpool. If you guys know what Deadpool does, he ignores taunt and then just goes after the weakest enemy. But there's a little bit of a difference here because uh, she's going to attack the primary target as well. So this one is a little bit enhanced from Deadpool's ability here. So attack primary target for 300%, and then it's going to attack the most injured enemy for 350% damage, ignoring the stealth and the taunt here. So this is actually really, really cool ability. So she's attacking twice, once again. So first ability attacking five times, second ability attacking uh, two times, two different enemies here. So, so far she's just a straight up assassin, just sent in to do a one job and one job only, and that is take people out. Now let's take a look at her uh, ultimate ability here. Six ability cooldown starts off full. Gain offense up for two turns. Attack primary target and adjacent targets for 250% damage. 25% damage per supernatural ally. Now we already know she's going on a supernatural team. So 25 times 4. That's another 100% uh, damage here as well. So really cool i like what i'm seeing from there i love the fact that you're going to be able to start off with this ability right off the bat or ultimate you're going to gain offense up and then you're going to attack and then her second ability you're going to go into her special ability there where she can attack one person plus the most injured ally so most likely she's going to take somebody out so all in all i'm loving the, the whole theme that got going on with elsa here it's just a straight up assassin sent in just to kill everybody so I think it's going to work out really, really well on this team, especially with all the bleeds going around and the, the stuns and the heal blocks. And we'll talk, we'll talk all about that as we go on here. But let's go into her passive ability here. A bunch of gibberish. <laughs> Hashtag percent at dollar sign exclamation point. I absolutely love that. On miss or on ally miss, if this character has three or more supernatural allies, which she will, attack that target for 270% damage. So even if she misses, she's not going to miss because she's always going to be with supernaturals. So she's always going to hit her target. Incredible. On enemy dodge, attack that enemy for 270% damage. So wow. Even if they dodge her, she's going to attack them either way. And then also gain 10% crit chance. Mystic allies gain 10% crit chance. Gain... 20% accuracy per supernatural ally. So her accuracy is going to be through the roof anyways. So she's really not going to miss. But if she does, she's guaranteed to hit anyways. And then I love the fact that all your mystic allies gain 10% uh, crit chance as well. Because she's going to be running with all mystics basically anyways on this team. So really, really cool Elsa Bloodstorm. I like what I'm seeing from her as well, guys. An assassin sent in to just destroy everybody. I love the abilities. Thumbs up to the devs here. Uh, let's take a look at some of her stats here. As you guys can already see, the damage is pretty good. Focus is okay. Resistance. Crit damage. I love the crit damage there because she will probably be critting quite a bit. 10% crit chance. Speed is average above average i would say not the slowest but all in all i love elsa bloodstone here and uh, let's go on now guys we're going to take a look at the three heroes that we currently have in the game and what kind of tweaks they did so they can work with this supernatural team here so let's go all right guys so the first here we're going to talk about is dr strange he's got two abilities that were changed here let's take a look at his ultimate book of vishani so i'm gonna show you the ability as it was guys and then i'm gonna also show you the rework of the ability here so let's take a look at how it's being reworked here so revive a supernatural ally for 65% damage so automatically revive a, a supernatural ally 
plus revive a dead ally with health heal all allies for 8,000 health of this character's max health so this ability here is guaranteed to revive one of your supernatural allies for 65 percent health that is incredible now the only thing that i don't really know is does this could this possibly revive two heroes that's the thing that i'm kind of confused about here is the wording of the text is kind of confusing me a little bit because I'm not sure if it revives a supernatural ally and another ally or it revives a supernatural ally first for 65% health and if there is no supernatural allies then it will revive any other ally for a certain amount of health so that's the only thing but we're gonna have to find that out in the game but anyways I love this rework here 65% health is quite a bit guys so basically almost full health of one of your supernatural allies here so nice little tweak there with his ultimate let's take a look at his passive here on turn, chance to change lowest allies speed bar. If this character has three or more supernatural allies, when a positive effect is applied to an enemy, heal for 5% of this character's max health, plus gain one deflect up to a maximum of five. All right, so that's just a little bonus there. If your opponents are going to buff themselves up, they're going to pay for it because they're going to heal uh, Dr. Strange up and he's going to get the flight here, which is going to make him just survive a little bit longer in the battlefield, which you want him to survive as much as possible in order for him to be able to use his ultimate Book of Vishani so he can revive somebody, guys. So all in all, a nice little tweak here to Dr. Strange. He was already pretty usable in the game because of his special he can flip all the debuffs and then he can revive somebody but i think on this team here is going to be phenomenal i can't wait to put this team together guys but we're not done yet let's go on to the next one all right so now we're going to move on to baron mordo because uh let's face it guys who wants less though everybody wants mordo so his passive ability is the only one that has been reworked here too many sorceresses <laughs> on death of any character heal self and the most injured supernatural ally for 10 percent of this character's max health so anytime somebody dies he's going to heal himself and one of your allies for 10 percent of his health so you want his health as much as possible to be honest here and on death of a mystic heal self and most injured supernatural ally for 15 percent of this character's max health and grant one to two ability energy to self and that ally so this is awesome guys i really actually love this because mystic this whole team is going to be mystic characters all supernatural characters are mystic characters so anytime one of his allies dies he's going to heal himself plus one other character for 15 percent health that's really nice right there plus grant one to two ability energy for himself and that character that's huge that can make a big difference guys and especially if it's somebody like let's say dr strange he gets more healing he revives that character and then it's all back full health it's going to be phenomenal i love the the possibility with this team guys did i mention i'm excited to use them but let's move on to the last member of this team all right so the final member is scarlet witch now let's take a look at what they did with scarlet witch here they reworked her ultimate here chaos wave attack all enemies for 100 piercing damage plus each target has all negative effects prolonged by one we already knew this ability was already awesome the way that it was she had so many usabilities on pretty much any team that can spread debuffs you can stick her in there and it would help and it's obviously going to help with supernaturals here as well i mean i love the possibilities running with her spreading all the bleeds from ghost rider sp spreading the blinds and the stuns from mordo i mean this is phenomenal here but here's what they did with it if this character has four or more supernatural allies which it will apply defense down to all enemies and this ability is unavoidable all right that's a game changer right there guys i mean i'm not gonna lie this ability is phenomenal now she has to run with all supernaturals obviously that's where you want to run her at now you can't really move her around to brotherhood and to spider verse or wherever or wherever you were using her before you got to put her with supernaturals because this ability here is insane when she uses this she's going to spread everything they have plus apply defense down to all of the enemies that is crazy guys now what i want to see with this ability here is does she apply the defense down after she spreads all those buffs i mean i think it does it would be really really interesting it would be really really cool if she can apply the defense down first and then spread everything because then obviously she would spread a defense down for two turns which would make it i think a really op ability and uh this team would be really great but all in all guys i love it i love what i'm seeing from this team i'm so <laughs> excited to get these guys i can't wait for elsa i can't wait for uh ghost rider here to really 
complete this team i mean my doctor strange mordo and scarlet witch are fairly high already so i'm gonna have a pretty high uh supernatural team i'm excited to use them in the arena i want to see what they can do and i'm excited to really use them in war and everything everywhere else guys so i uh, so i can't wait for that anyways if you enjoyed this video guys as always be sure to leave a like i really appreciate it that will just let me know that you guys are enjoying the content and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to this channel already i make upcoming videos on all new heroes and the red star openings and all that good stuff in this channel anyways but thanks a lot for tuning in as always guys i appreciate you so much i love you a lot and i will catch you guys on the next video till then have a good morning good afternoon and good night everybody